Hello. Hello. I just was, I was just getting all of my pieces on me before I began. It's very complicated today. Actually, what it came down to was I put on a head wrap and I was like, no, this isn't the one. This is not the one. So I changed my head wrap. It was very important. Oh, hold on. Hold on. There's an unsightly, an unsightly clothing item hanging over here. Hold, please. Oh, we can't have it. We won't have it. We mustn't have it. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. How are you guys doing? So here's the deal. Um, you're like, what are you wearing? <laughs> well, first of all, I'm wearing pajamas. I couldn't figure out what to wear for this live stream because I'm like, well, I don't want to wear a t-shirt, I guess, because it's the Oscars. We're doing like an Oscar look. And then I was like, well, what do I have that's classy but comfortable? And then I'm like, oh, I have these really expensive, fancy silk um, pajamas that I never wear, which is perfect because let's be honest, all of us are going to be sitting in our pajamas watching the Oscars. So I figured it worked, right? Now you're like, what is this? Well, let me tell you, let me show you. Guys, I got it. I got the, the Dr. Dennis Gross robot mask for your body. And I just charged it. I thought, you know, we need to do everything we can. We're going to the Oscars. We have to look as young as we can. <laughs> So this is really cool. I mean, obviously, like, I'm still learning about it, but so it's this flexible situation. So you can do your neck, you can do your chest, you can wrap it around your arm. If you want your arms to look really young, <laughs> you, uh, and you can also use it on your back on your back. And the other thing is they have, it has two different, um, I'm just really excited about this. Sorry. It has two different settings. So it has the three minute setting, which is like, you know, um, like how the, the, the mask is for your face, or there's a 14 minute setting for pain relief and led does really help with pain. It's, it's a thing. It's not a made up thing. It's a thing. Um, so you can use it for that too. And Charlie, I got it for my knee pain. Oh, well, great. So I just thought I'd start things off right with this. Um, it's very dramatic looking. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Okay, while I'm doing this, we're just gonna do it for a few minutes. We're gonna do all the prep tonight, okay? We want to look as glassy as we can for the Oscars. I'm drinking a Hendrix gin and tonic. It's never, it's just what I'm drinking all the time. Um, Randy's not here. He's at work. So I don't, I'm flying without a moderator here. So if I miss something and someone's being Chate, I guess let me know. <laughs> and I'll try to I'll try to nab them. Um, okay. Oh, it's Melissa Arnold's first time here. Welcome. Welcome. Um Oh, there's some people who didn't realize that I always arrive at least 10 minutes late. Got it. Okay, so Hi, Rabina. Hello. Patty Lynch. Hello. Anieska Piazovisk. Okay, we have to thank Anieska for this live stream because she is the one who came up with the idea. She DM'd me on Instagram, which if you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing with your life and your choices? Um, she DM'd me and she's like, you should do an Oscar night look because the Oscars are on Sunday. 
And I was like, I should. And so thank you so much for the recommendation or for the, the idea, because that's what we're doing tonight. Um, oh, Sabrina, don't let me forget to get my leftovers out of the oven. Oh, wow. That's a lot of pressure. Um, hi, Natalie, new subscriber. Thank you for finding my channel. Um, <laughs> Eve, Lexi, dang you, Kate. I ordered the mask because of notice about helping rosacea. I never get to wear blush because of my rosacea. I have translucent skin, so it is super noticeable. I'm hoping this will help. Well, I, if you weren't here for the last live stream, I had, uh, I think her name is Jennifer Jumper. Yes. It's a very memorable name. She, um, wrote in and talked about how the, the Dr. Dennis Gross LED mask like change her rosacea around and she barely has any issues with it, which I did not know, but it's great to hear that from someone who's actually been using it. So, um, fingers, fingers crossed. Um, no, I'm not going, <laughs> what? <laughs> Rabina, wait, what? You're going to the Oscars? No, no girl. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Did I did I say that? Sorry if I if I said that I thought you would know that I was kidding. I don't know. Yes, I'm going to the Oscars. Everyone, I'm you're right, Amanda. Just say yes. I'm going to the Oscars. We're getting ready tonight. I like to You have to prep in advance. Do you know how much prep those people do? It's a lot. Okay. <sighs> So the other exciting thing about this live stream is that I got sent some PR from Shanta Kai. I almost peed my pants. So I have four products from Shanta Kai that I'm going to use. Well, I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use most of the products that they sent me, which I'm really excited about. Um, cause they look gorgeous. Oh, Glitter Fallout is here. Hello, Linda. Yes, I am bougie now. I'm bougie. Um, I'm, I'm so fancy. Uh, okay. So we're going to get going here. Okay, we did two rounds of this. Normally, I would just keep going, but, you know, we're, you get the picture. I would, you just lay there and like keep pressing the button and just keep doing the LED, but that's it for now. Okay. So excited to use that. We're Benjamin buttoning ourselves, guys. It's, it's, it's happening. I'm going to move this more that way. Great. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do to get ready for the Oscars that I was invited to. No, not really. Um, we're just gonna go with it since that's what Rubina thinks. Is this like that time that that woman came into the live stream and thought I was Charlotte Tilbury? God, it just always really tickles me. Um, Okay, so I'm going to do just a brief gua sha stone facial because we want to look as snatched as we can. What the hell is that? Okay, okay. I'm just putting on my um, pharmacy honey grail oil just a little, just a little bit. Belisa, Bel, Belisa Bella, I tried the Westman Atelier highlight lit up stick as a primer and it worked. Oh, well, that that recommendation comes straight from Michelle Wong. So I really can't take any credit for that, but you're welcome. So, guys, the Oscars are on Sunday. Do you care? Do you give a shit? I care. I'm excited. I've definitely seen a few of the movies. Um, <laughs> uh, 
Adelaide's mom, when you go to the Oscars, you can speak to the costume department about ScarJo's shitty hair as the Black Widow at the after party. Yes, thank you. We need to keep that conversation going. Um... Sabrina S. I looked up Michelle Wong after I kept hearing you mention it. Wow, this might be the first time. Are you saying you found out about Michelle Wong through me? I think you might be the first person. <laughs> Usually it's the other way around. Um, <laughs> okay, yes, Bonnie Nominson. I saw Nomadland. We just watched it last night. So I wanted to mention, sorry, I've been, I have a little bit of an itch on my nose. Um, so two, two movies that I highly suggest, you know what the first one's gonna be. You have to watch Promising Young Woman. Get on it, get on it. Cause I can't, I'm not sure, but I don't think it costs $20 to rent that anymore, am I? Am I talking out of my ass? Um, so watch Promising Young Woman. And we watched Nomadland last night because Randy was like, we have to, if we're going to watch it together, we have to watch it tonight because he works the, all the nights up to the Oscars. And it was incredible. I mean, I just don't, if you don't know what it's about, it's basically about a group of, they're real people called N nomads <laughs> and it's it's centered in um in the desert in arizona and they just they don't have homes they live out of their vehicles and they travel around and they're like you know, this community of people and what's crazy and really interesting about the movie is is that we we're watching the movie and Obviously, obviously, Frances McDormand is a very famous actress and also David Strathairn. I've never know how to sit, say his name. Str you know who I'm talking about. I love him. River Wild and everything else. <laughs> I love I love the River Wild with Meryl Streep and he's in that. Um, anyway, he's in it with Frances McDormand. And, you know, we were watching it and so many of the supporting characters the acting's incredible, but the acting was so good. It was like, I didn't even feel, know if they were acting. Like, they felt like real people, is what I'm trying to say. And then I was like, are these people? Are these, like, real people who aren't actors? <laughs> and Randy's like, yeah, I think some of them are actually, like, known nomads. And they cast them in this movie. Which, I don't even know how you do get those kind of performances, because they were acting, but they were acting as themselves in these scenes. It was mind-blowing. So I highly recommend that you watch Nomadland. It is really, um, yes, yes, we, they are real people. They use real people in the movie. Um, the, the soundtrack is just gorgeous. Of course, the landscape, the cinematography is gorgeous. Um, and it really is just, it's hard to explain. I mean, I don't want to spoil anything, but the story is just, it's very bittersweet. It's so good. So anyway, please, please watch those two movies. Also, like, we love, we love a strong female lead. So, um, yeah, we watched that last night. I was like, well, I could do a Frances McDormand Oscar look, but that would literally just mean me just standing here doing nothing, which I also kind of love. <laughs> Um, I love that she doesn't give a shit. I love that. Are people spoiling things? Are there spoilers? I didn't, I didn't say anything spoilery, did I? No. No, no. Yes, great panoramas of the American desert, yes. Mmm. Oh, Lemonade Stand, there's a documentary about that. That makes sense. Uh... Okay, okay. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. 
yeah, it is emotional. It's a, it is a very heavy, it's not, it's not a light watch. You might have a couple existential crises throughout it, but that's good. It's good. You want that, right? I cry, I shed several tears. I'm not going to lie when I was watching Nomadland. Okay. So, oh, the gua sha, the gua sha stone. Um, so this is, I think I've, I think I've shown this to you before. This, I have two gua sha stones. This is my, my new like go-to because it's just better. Um, this is the wildling empress stone and it's just substantial right? And it has different sides to it, which I love. So anyway, I'm just going to do, usually this is more like a ending the evening situation, but this is how we're going to begin. Cause we're going to, we're going to lift our face, damn it. And our necks. I should probably be using the smooth side for my neck. Um, Juana Yas, I didn't find it depressing somehow. Sad, but not depressing. Oh, that's good. It made me miss the West, honestly. Like, just, yeah, it's just beautiful. Like, the sunsets, like the purple and orange sunsets in the desert, just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. Using this side to do my jawline. Um, so we had, so last night we watched that, but before we watched that, I need to get the name of this right. Cause I can't, I can't screw it up. Hold on a second. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Before we watched Nomadland, we watched a documentary that I, 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 I need you to watch. Okay. Cause it's amazing. I didn't know about it. Randy was the one who knew about it. It's on HBO. It's a four part documentary called exterminate all the brutes. And it is a four part hybrid docu-series that provides a visually arresting journey through time into the darkest hours. Basically, it it's the story of European, uh, <laughs> European colonialism, you know, and how we all became racist assholes. And when I say we all, I mean white people. <laughs> that That's what it's about. Um, and it's just historically fascinating. It is done in a way I've never seen a documentary done before. Again, obviously a heavy watch in a completely different way than Nomadland, but maybe don't watch them back to back. It was like a heavy night. <laughs> it's like, but I, I felt like a better, I felt like I had bettered myself after that night. Um, hold on a second. Uh, so anyway, it's, yeah, it's called Exterminate All the Brutes, and it's done by uh, a, a acclaimed filmmaker who also uh, did I Am Not Your Negro, which I have yet to see, but want to see. Um, and I believe he's the narrator of it, too, and he has a very interesting, captivating voice as well. Like, it's very dramatic. <laughs> Everything about it is, you know, really well done, holds your attention. And is fucking upsetting <laughs> because, because, because just watch it. Okay. We're done with the jawline. I'm kind of doing this a little bit thoughtlessly here, but um, let me go back to the chat. Okay, I'm missing a lot of things. Let me look at the comments. <laughs> mm. 
Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Great, great. This doesn't hurt, Amber Rose music. It looks like it hurts. Oh. Well, that's the opposite of how it should appear. <laughs> no, it's actually very relaxing. And it lifts your face, which we love. We love that for us. I'm gonna smooth out those uh, forehead wrinkles. I don't put the pointy part in anywhere. It's just, it, it's made to contour like your jawbone and your cheekbone, it's made to sort of hug them. So, Aegis Beauty 416 is trolling for people's birthdays so that I can sing happy birthday to them. I see in the chat. <laughs> All right. I can't even remember if I did this side, but. Okay. 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 Let's put that away. I feel like we've prepped enough. Rubina, Kate, can you please sing to lift up the mood? Is the mood bad? <laughs> Why is the mood bad? Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya. I don't, I don't even like that song. <clears throat> Okay, let's do it. Let's do the, the Luke. So, Susan Hersey, Kay, did you see the last cruise yet? I haven't seen that. That's, is it a documentary about cruise ships? I, I'm excited to watch that slash, <sighs> Do I need to watch it? <laughs> I feel like I could have made the documentary myself. Um, okay. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna use the sauce. I'm not gonna belabor the sauce. We all know what the sauce is. It's the Fenty Body Sauce because now I was told, you know, by my friend Carly, that it's an incredible, um, we're not gonna put it everywhere. We're just gonna put it in the parts we can see tonight, which isn't much, but it's an incredible base. If you wanna look blurry and bronzed. Do I put primer before putting on the sauce? Um, I would just put on something moisturizing so it'll glide on, in, in my opinion. So I'm trying to get this even here. Try not to flash you here. My PJs are from this place called Lily Silk. Again, I, f <laughs> I feel like I do actually need to hunker down and do a video about like Michelle Wong made me buy it because she has these exact, I'm stalking Michelle Wong. I don't know if I told you that, but <laughs> I'm trying to become her slowly. Um, she, no, she has these pajamas and I was like, well, I have to have those now. 
When I'm done with the live stream, I'll link them if you want to see where they're from. But they're a very soft, comfortable, luxurious silk pajama. Okay. I feel like it's... I feel like it's pretty even, but let me just make sure I got my neck all the way up to my jawbone. And my hairline here. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're gonna use the sauce on our face. Oh, Adrian, so glad you could make the live as well. Jamie K is here. Management is here. Everyone act accordingly. Jamie K, what what color? I I follow Jamie K on Instagram because <laughs> she's my manager. She's not really my manager. Um. What color is your hair going to be? What color are you coloring your hair? Tell, tell the people. Okay. Damn, it's good. It's just like, I'm not worried about it. This is like the first self tanner. It's not a self tanner, but whatever bronzing product that I feel like I'm just not worried. Like I trust it. I trust the sauce. Oh, burgundy. Ooh, her hair's burgundy. That sounds sassy. All right. I think, I think that's pretty Pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. Um, just using up all the sauce. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, now I need to moisturize my lips. Mm, Rebecca J, I'm wearing my youngish my youngish merch hoodie. Awesome, yes. Okay. So now I did um add in, I thought, well, I'm, I'm using Shantikai, the Shantikai they sent me. So I'm going to use the foundation because I haven't used the foundation in a hot minute. Um, now this is going to be too light with the sauce on. Okay. Just, we know this, but then we're going to bronze and it's going to be fine and it's all going to come together and it's going to be great. But this is the Shantikai future skin cushion in alabaster. Okay. And I also wanted to tell you guys that Shantikai is running a spatial, a spatial. So it's in the description box. Um, everything is linked in the description box, of course, but um, the Shantikai products, if you use the code Earth Day, you, it's uh, buy two, get one free on any of their philanthropy, philanth <laughs> I can't talk tonight, philanthropy products which again, are just linked in the description box. So um, that includes pretty much everything I'm using tonight that's Shantikai, Shantikai including the, the foundation. So that's a good, that's a good little deal there. It only runs two days. It runs today, tomorrow, and Friday. All right. 
Okay, let's, I'm gonna pull out a beauty blender here and just pounce, 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 pounce. Okay, so this is what we're going for. It's in the title. Glass skin and a red lip. Okay, we're going for like, cause when I, when I Googled Oscar Luke's, the most common Oscar look that I found was just a red lip. It's just iconic, right? So we're going for like that look that I'm obsessed with, which is like really minimal makeup, glowing to the gods, like just looks like you came from the spa and a sensible bold red lip. This is what we're going for. So, you know, I'm, and again, I know this foundation is a little bit light for the body sauce, but it's, it's okay. I also just love the texture of the body sauce as a primer because it's blurring and it's radiant. This foundation isn't actually like that much lighter, you know, it's not too bad. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, I can't wait to try these Shantikai products because I don't have any, any of these things that they sent me. Um, they sent me their, their cheek shades and then their baked gelée lum, uh, luminescent eye shades. And they just look stunning. The PJs, Clarissa, the PJs are, washable. God, if they were dry clean only, forget about it. I would not own these. I mean, I think you have to be pretty delicate when you wash them, but okay. If that isn't just like, that's like the perfect minimal amount of foundation. I feel like Lisa P. I love a Sophie's Choice. I love when people make me choose two different products and are like, this one or this one, go. Lisa P3.2, sauce or Hollywood flawless filter? I hope someone's got a screenshot of that. Um, <laughs> Those are very different products. They're very different. <laughs> I refuse to answer that question because they're different. I mean, the difference is, well, I'm actually deciding. Well, okay. <laughs> the sauce is bronzing. So if you want to be bronzed, get the sauce. But if you don't, give a shit about being bronze, definitely don't get the sauce and get the Hollywood Flawless Filter. But I'm gonna just complicate things and tell you that I used both on my last live stream. I used the, the sauce and then I put the Hollywood Flawless Filter on my high point. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> but yeah, it really comes down to like, do you wanna be bronzed or not? You know what I'm gonna do? I need to get a towel. I'm a little bit too saucy here. We're too saucy. Hold on a second. Oh, here's a towel. That's where the towel went. It was on the floor. How sanitary. Okay.
Okay, that's the perfect application of foundation if I ever did see it. And now I'm going to, since we're going for like minimal glowing to the gods, I'm using my Glossier Stretch Concealer. Amber Rhodes, how are you feeling? Oh, thanks for asking. Um, I'm not all better. It's, I, I went to the doctor yesterday because I was like, I can't, I can't. Um, I need antibiotics. <laughs> Because sinus infections are just a bitch, you know what I mean? And you just never know. So, so yeah, but I'm, it's getting better <coughs> while you ask, while I cough. It's getting slowly better. Okay. So good. So good. Perfect. <coughs> yeah, ever since Amber Rhodes asked me how I'm feeling, I can't stop coughing. Thanks a lot, Amber. Thanks a lot. <clears throat> I think it's mental. What do you think? Okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit of bronzy bronzies. Um, this is the Fenty... My favorite cream bronzer. Hello, Smiley Bee. Um, the Fenty Cheeks Out Cream Blush in Butter Biscuit. Butter Biscuit. Okay. Trying not to get the bronzer in my hair, doing the best I can. It's probably a little bit. It's, I feel like it's just better to get it close to your hairline and a little bit in your hair or not, because then it's like, you don't, you don't want people to see that line. You know what I mean? It's not cute. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh yeah, if you guys are here, give this a thumbs up. It'd be great if you would. I'd really appreciate you. No one's doing it. 135 thumbs ups and 240 biatches watching. Linda Gonzalez, what's your favorite concealer? Well, I talk about it in my Sephora recommendations video that you should check out. But since you're here, I'll tell you. It's the Kosas Concealer. <clears throat> the Kosas Revealer Concealer. Okay. I think we're like pretty even bronzy, right? No, we're not. We need more <laughs> as I as I get more bronzer out. <coughs> Sorry. Damn. I blame I blame Amber. Okay, so now we're gonna just do a light dusting of powder with the Kosas Cloud setting powder. Now I did see because I know that a lot of the shades were out of stock at Sephora. These um this is not <coughs> This is not. Oh my god. Oh my god. <clears throat> I might have to get a lozenge. I'm it might have to happen. We'll see. Hopefully this gin and tonic will help. Look at that radiance right there. Sabrina S. I know you're my age and your skin looks amazing. Oh, thank you. Facialist on call or robot mask, girl. I do not go get facials. I got one like fancy facial at Rescue Spa quite a while now, like over six months ago. But 
honestly, and I said this in one of my recent videos, ever since I got the robot mask, you know, and do things like the gua sha, I've started committing to the new face, which is a microcurrent device. I don't feel like I need to go get a facial. It's just what I'm doing at home, honestly. So that's my two cents. Now, I got special straws. Actually, my parents for Christmas, they got me straws so that I could use my robot mask and drink. <laughs> I don't know that that's actually why they got them for me, but I decided that's why they got them for me. Amber Rose just sent a super chat. Thank you, Amber Rose music. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. I feel like that's enough powder. Okay, yeah, because we want to keep this glowy. Maybe I put too much powder on. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to go, we're going to bring the glow back. <clears throat> All right. So now we're going to do brows. <clears throat> I'm never going to stop using this ever. You heard me proclaim it. I will proclaim it again. This is better than my damn boy brow okay anieska piaskovic twenty dollar super chat thank you and thank you very much for the reason why we're all here the oscar luke thank you anieska <clears throat> okay so again this is the kosas air brow <laughs> smiley b i love the practicality of your parents gift oh i do too I do too. Sabrina asks, come out with a head wrap line. I know. I mean, I know. I really, I will one day. One day, but it's got to be right. You know what I mean? It can't just be any head wraps. I'm very, very particular about the head wraps. <clears throat> yeah, Leslie Mills, you do need to go get this. This is, this is the shit right here. I got two more of these. Two more on the sale, okay? That's how excited I got about this brow gel. <clears throat> Jamie K, that coast is brow gel. Y'all, run, do not walk. Yes, exactly. Yes. It's the truth. And it, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but it just, it's, I feel like I can be fearless with it. Like it goes on so gradually. It's kind of like the sauce. <clears throat> Jenny Eldridge, thank you for the Kosas Brow Gel recommendation. It's the best. Yes. And they have a really good shade range and I very rarely see this, but they actually have a shade for gray hair. <coughs> I'm getting a freaking lozenge. Amber Rhodes music. How dare you? How dare you? Hold on. Jeez. <clears throat> I was just fine. I was doing just fine. <coughs> then you have to say something. You had to say something, ruin it. And now I have to get one of these nasty ass lozenges that I freaking hate. Oh, 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 does it taste like honey? Oh, is that what it tastes like? I think it tastes like ass and honey. All right. Back to the brows.
Mmm. 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 This lozenge. Mmm. Oh, I ordered the Kosas pencil. Believe you me, it's on its way in one of my five orders. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to use, sorry guys, the Glossier um, Brow Flick because we're going for like a very... Well, we're always going for a feathered brow, feathered brow but... This is extra feathered, okay? <clears throat> Kate, we do live in the land of <laughs> ass and honey. Yes. Indeed we do. Indeed we do. Why isn't this coming out? Come on, brow flick. Come on. Don't let me down. Okay, there we go. I think I might be running out. Yeah, I think it's drying out. Oh, well, it's fine. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my God. Irma Gerd. It's a good thing this is a, sh a short makeup routine. <laughs> Don't worry, this, this lozenge that tastes like ass and honey should kick in any moment and all will be better. <clears throat> Take a shot of whiskey. Is that going to help? Will that help? Should I go get some whiskey? Is that what I do? No one said anything, but I'm going to do it. Hold on. <laughs> You just want me to get drunk. That's all you want. <coughs> I know you and your cheap tricks. That's all you fucking want. Well, fine. <coughs> Straight from the bottle. Jameson. Irish whiskey castmates, I, <coughs> IPA edition. <clears throat> wow. Mm. <clears throat> mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I know the door just opened because <clears throat> there's a strong wind. It's very windy out. It'll probably close again. That's how windy it is out. Did you hear that? When it's windy, there's a, there's a window in the shower and it knocks over like all the products. <laughs> <clears throat> wow, you're really getting a slice of life here today, aren't you? Okay, I actually think the whiskey is helping. Let's not jinx it, Kate. Okay. <clears throat> so the next thing, we're breaking into the Chantecai. This is, um, I'm going to swatch both of the shades they sent me, but I'm only going to use one. <clears throat> the shade that we're going to use today is Lion. It's a golden copper. This is, <clears throat> I want to make sure that I, <sighs> okay. I had it pulled up here. Hold on. Hold please. Shantikai.
Okay, so these are a pearl. <coughs> Hold on. Damn it. Okay, well, they're a baked jelly, jelly formula. I was trying to find the details, but let's just move on. Okay, so look at how gorge. <clears throat> oh, wow. beautiful and we're taking it all the way up because that's what we do that's just what we do now <coughs> I'm getting honey guys Gu <laughs> guys I'm going to literally be spoon feeding myself honey and taking sh shots of whiskey. I'm literally going to go get honey. This is what this live stream is now. It's literally me trying to not cough and do an Oscar look. I'll retitle it when it renders. Hold on a second. <clears throat> no, I'm not okay. Oh my God, will this door stay closed or what, man? Okay, so here we go. <coughs> Organic mountain forest raw honey. Mmm. This is just what this is right now. Mm. No, I was fine. I was doing fine <laughs> all day long until about 10 minutes ago, I swear. It's when you get that one little tickle <clears throat> and then it perpetuates. That's what we're doing right now. Go get some honey. Do it with me. Mmm. <clears throat> it's funny, like, coughing will always make people think that you're dying. Like, the second you cough, they're like, oh my god. Are you okay? I'm like, yes, I was fine all day long! I'm fine. I'm fine. <clears throat> I'm fine. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I think something got in there. I guess what happened. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm going to take a shot of whiskey. Does that help or is this making it worse? Okay, we might have to speed through the rest of this. I'm not going to lie. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're going to hear me like... Well, Paige, I am fine. <laughs> Shut up. It's fine. <clears throat> this is what's called when you're live.
in this situation or you're on stage and you have to do damage control, <clears throat> as an audience member, it doesn't help if people are like, but are you okay though? You sound like shit. Are you okay? Hey, hey, but wait, you sound really bad. Are you going to be okay though? Are you sure? Well, you know what? We're here now and I there's nothing else I can fucking do. So <laughs> let's just do it. Yes, I'm fine. <clears throat> can you tell this is happening to me before as a, as a live performer? <laughs> but really though, but really though, Shantakai, but really though, I don't need a doctor, Adelaide's mom. I don't need a doctor. Everyone shut up. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Well, this is stunning. <clears throat> and... I want to swatch the other shade for you because also can we talk about look at this look at the packaging on this other shade oh Aaron Taylor coming in with the only comforting thing what no not Aaron Taylor sorry sorry Aaron Taylor not you not you it was somebody else I lost it Someone said it's okay to cough. I don't know who it was. Thank you. Okay, so anyway, this is the crane. It's a crane. Um, and this is a smoky burgundy. So we'll use it another time, but can I just... Yes, Shantakai did send me PR. That's correct, Joanna Yas. So this is a smoky burgundy. Look at how pretty... I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. So pretty. <laughs> Leslie Z. Now I'm coughing. <clears throat> Actually, whatever this, this combination of this horrible tasting, um, lozenge with the whiskey. I think it was the honey though. Just eating honey by the spoonful, like really helped. Okay. So I do want to just say for people who came into the chat, Shantakai was kind enough to send me this PR. It's, I'm blown away. And they are running a sale right now through Friday. Um, it's buy two, get one free of a lot of their line. So it's all linked in the description box. <clears throat> but look at how pretty, look at how pretty. So I'm just taking a fluffy brush and making sure it's all blended out. Tina, hi, Tina. Tina's here. <clears throat> Tina, you missed me having a, a coughing. <laughs> Tina, have you ever been on stage and been sick? Tina's a performer. I'm sure, she, I'm sure the answer is yes. <clears throat> Okay. Yes, she has. Okay. So now I'm just going to take my beauty blender and kind of make sure that's cleaned up right there. <clears throat> Great. So now I'm going to use, sorry, I'm a boring bitch, but this is my Pat McGrath, not limited edition pencil <laughs> in black coffee. Listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I know I use some things over and over again, but like, uh, it's because it's the best.
Ooh, gosh, I'll tell you what, when you get a cross breeze going in New York City, it's like you won the lottery because it's really difficult. But that's what's happening right now because it's so chilly and windy out. Feels good. Feels real good. <clears throat> okay. Baby wing, baby wing, yes, Tina. What the hell was that? There was like a crusticle right here. Did any, I'm so sorry if you had to be staring at that. I don't know what that was. We'll call it a, <clears throat> maybe it was a crust of honey. Got in there. Yikes, glad I wasn't zoomed in closer. Okay, now, Lashes. Oh, Angie, my granddaughter likes your Miss Piggy mirror. Oh, thank you. She's pretty great. Lisa, so if someone were going to purchase Shantakai other than those shadows, what would you get? Oh, wow. Oh, oh shit. You know what I should do? Should I did? When I first ordered a bunch of Chantecai, I did a Chantecai live stream, but it's been a long time. Should I do a Chantecai live stream? Is anyone going to come? <sighs> Maybe I should do that, huh? Because I do have a lot and it, it, it does go unused a lot just because I have so much stuff. <clears throat> so this is the Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara. I'm gonna do a double mascara situation today. I have found, oh, Natalie, today is the sixth anniversary of my mom passing. Oh, she was the best friend I'll ever have. I'm, I'm so glad to have the Blurch and Boop fam today for company. Thank you, Kate, for the community created. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you. You didn't have to send me a super chat for that, but thank you so much. And I'm sending you all the good thoughts. <clears throat> all the good thoughts. Thank you for being here. <sighs> all right. So now I'm going to take my roller lash. Tina knows this duo is it. This duo is it. I mean, Really, any duo where you start off with something volumizing and then you go in with the roller lash, it's like, yes, my neighbor is practicing piano. Can you hear it? I mean, it's not repetitive at all. <laughs> not even a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna we're gonna do a no lower lash line situation just to mix it up. I know some people think that when you do a heavy mascara on top, you shouldn't do the bottom, but I'm gonna really just go against the grain and just really buck the fucking rules and just do the top. We're going for doe eyes, okay? We're doing a doe eyed situation. I do notice, I mean, it's one of two things for the Oscars, right? You see people who are like super glammed, like the 
Jennifer Lawrence look a few years ago where she did like the 80s like black um sort of graphic looking eyeshadow which is super cool but you see a lot of really natural like natural looks as well which is kind of what we're going for today <clears throat> No, it's not kind of what we're going for today. It is what we're going for today. Guys, my cough calmed down. What do you think it was? What do you think it was? I think it was the honey. Oh, you guys are the best. I, I have the best community here. Thank you for sending Natalie all, all the love. I just like, that broke my heart to read um, that message. Natalie, I just, I, like, I don't even know what to say because it's just, sending you my heart, sending you my, my shattered heart. <clears throat> Well, we learned something here today. If you're having a coughing fit, go take scoopfuls of honey and whiskey. You saw it, you saw it work right before your very eyes. Um, <clears throat> yeah, okay. So now I can't wait because I have the Chantecaille blushes as well. I do want to say, wait, what is this little pamphlet that, oh, there's so much writing on it. Never mind. I was going to read this pamphlet that was in the Shandaka box, but it's so much. It's so much. Okay. So now we're getting close here. We're getting close to the end. Rebecca J, what is the earring that's in your second hole on the right lobe? Looks a little ro like a rose gold staple. Second hole on the, oh yeah. I get a lot of questions about this earring right here. It's actually two piercings. And I had it done, spatial. And it's their, oh, it's a piercing studio in Brooklyn. <clears throat> and they, um, yeah, they put it in horizontally. So it, it and they kind of, it kind of stretches or holes a little bit, but I just think it looks so, so cool. Like it looks like a little sliver or a staple in your ear. Okay. What are we doing next? We're doing blush. I feel like I need a, no, I think we're good with bronzer. Okay. These are the blushes that were sent to me by Chantakai. So <clears throat> let me grab the, box. This is the box. This is their cheek shade in the shade laughter. I'm so excited. This is what the packaging looks like. So pretty. So pretty. And then they sent me a refill shade. And I thought I would use um, one on each cheek and we would decide but this is the refill shade. It's in the shade Emotion. Look at how pretty that is. Thank you, Patricia. So I'm gonna keep it in there, but I'm gonna boop, get in there because I wanna see what they both look like. Okay, so the this is Laughter. <clears throat> These are the two next to each other. So this is definitely more pink. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I mean, we didn't, we didn't do a cream blush beforehand because I just really wanted, yes, sorry. I haven't used the word blush in a while. I've, we're still calling it blush, damn it. So, I really just wanted to see, I wanted you to see what the impact of this alone was. Wow. 
What the hell? So pretty. So, so pretty. Of course, taking it. Okay, so that is, that's laughter. And this is coral. <clears throat> right, they are, lumin they are luminous, so you almost don't even need a highlighter. That's right. <coughs> Sorry. There it is. And then this. What? Well, this is called emotion. Oh, wow. Once I, once I like went over it, the, the gold on the bee went away. Huh. Okay. So this has a little bit more, um, <clears throat> almost like not orange. That's the wrong word. It's like a bronzy orangey nest to it. This is pinkier. I'm going to see which one this is. This is called emotion because I'm just curious how they describe the shade. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay, so emotion is, there it is, a golden coral. Oh, so these are quite similar actually. So this is, just the first one is a coral and this is a golden coral. You can see the difference. That makes sense. This is more like has an, has an orangey tone to it because it's golden. It's golden. But I have to tell you, my favorite is this one. The coral. The laughter. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go over that. I mean, they're both beautiful, but... Wow. Wow. I'm just <sighs> stunner, stunning. Okay. And now we're getting to lips. <clears throat> wow. No thumbs downs. What happened? What, what went wrong? Um, so I am going to use, I, I very rarely use a lip pencil, but you know, let's, let's mix it up. It's, it's the Oscars. We're going to the Oscars. So I'm going to use my Mac and Ruby Woo. <clears throat> Stephanie Windsor is here. Oh, Stephanie Windsor. Stephanie Windsor gifted this to me and I am going to use it. I'm not using it tonight, but this is that Tom Ford, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Soleil lip gloss that changes colors, guys. It is insane. It's insane. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use that, but I'm saving it. <clears throat> so sorry. I am like on the drug bus. Okay, let's do a little lip liner here. Let me zoom in a little bit more.
No, don't worry about it, Jane. <laughs> although it is, although thumbs downs are engagement as well. Oh, someone hit the thumbs down just to make me feel better. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay, sorry, Miss Piggy's in the way. Oh, Debbie, I ordered the Bite Beauty lip gloss during the sale with your link and love it. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, those Bite Beauty lip glosses are gorgeous. God, it's so loud. So loud. Okay. So we've primed the lips with some lip liner. Is it necessary? I don't think so. It, it does make it stay on longer, but anyway. <clears throat> Sorry. We are using, we're being very literal tonight. We are using the Charlotte Tilbs Matte Revolution lipstick in Red Carpet Red. Love the shape of her lipsticks. Love it. Just a classic blue red. But the lip liner is nice because it does kind of give you like it etches out like a guideline, you know what I mean? Wow, so pretty. Always forget how much I love a bold red lip. Hi, Lisa Blancet. Kate, I received my Sephora order today. The Say Liquid Blush is so good. Oh, I haven't tried it. Just a tiny dot is all you need. Oh God, like I need another cream blush. Like I need a hole in the head, but thank you, Lisa. Sure, I'll get it. <clears throat> Okay, so, and now what I actually do like to do with a lip liner is just go in and like make everything really crisp at the end. always those corners that are hard because like that's where <clears throat> excuse me that's where the line of my lip kind of like disappears thank you tina so i kind of have to like fake a line i'm overlining just a tad like just a tad Nothing too crazy. This side of my lip is higher than this one, so I always kind of overcorrect over here. <clears throat> okay, so <laughs> wow, you watched me slowly die through this live stream. Everyone who's stuck it out, <laughs> you're a real champ. You're a real champ. I swear I was fine until I be <laughs> until the middle of this. 
or for the way through. Anyway, it, it's fine. So red lip done. Now, Tina, a red lip ain't easy and you just nailed it to the ground and while hacking up a lung. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, see, got to do that. you got to do that old trick sometimes because then you've got it on your teeth and it's a whole thing. <clears throat> Thank you, Tina. That means a lot because Tina's also a makeup artist. So, <laughs> okay. So I'm sorry that I keep using this so much, but it really is my favorite wet look, um, like glass skin highlighter. This is the lit up highlight stick. <sighs> You're so tired of it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm not. This is the lit up highlight stick in the shade lit up. And it just, <clears throat> there's already some, obviously a lot of radiance to that blush and everything we've already put on our face, but ugh, this just brings everything out. It is a little, it's opalescent. So it has a little bit of a, yeah, I guess lavender, you could call it. It's got a cool pull to it. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Oh, so good. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. So you can see the, I'm going to give myself a facelift. It's a great thing about wearing a turban. It's an instant facelift. And this is the finished look. We're going to the Oscars. Wait, hold on a second. I feel like this brow is higher than this brow. This is very important. Got to refluff those brows. guys a red lip i'll tell you what i forget i forget it just it like it like gives you life or something right this was really <laughs> this is really fun even though it's even though it sounded like i was dying i promise i'm not i promise i'm not i promise i'm fine but i do appreciate you <laughs> putting up with me clearing my throat drinking whiskey in front of you eating a nasty ass lozenge and eating honey straight out of the jar to get <laughs> through this live stream. So the Oscars are this Sunday. So watch those movies I told you about. Watch Nomadland and watch Promising Young Woman. And thank you all for being here. Also, I do want to just remind you that Chantecai sale is only running through this Friday. So um, two or three for the price of two. You buy two things, you get one free, whatever. So check that out. Everything is linked below in the description box. You guys are the best. We're ready to go to the Oscars, but what are we going to do? Because it's days away. <laughs> put, put on a face. Put on a, put on a fancy face. And sit there in your pajamas and order Chinese for the Oscars. Doesn't that sound fun? All right, guys. Wow, look at how much of my cocktail I have left. Because I was just trying to not die. <laughs> have a great... Okay. There's nothing on my teeth. Have a great night. <laughs> and I will see you when I put out my next video, which I think is going to be tomorrow. But then, but I'll see you again next Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern time for another happy hour live stream. You guys are the best. See you later. Bye.